we are going to be on with Florence. Pew! I'm not nearly as glamorous as everybody else. I'm wearing like crustacean socks. You come with glamour. I just saw your tax. What is that? That is a bee. Lovely. Does it have a meaning? Yeah, but I don't want to go into it because we need to talk about your charity. But okay, well let's let's talk about that. <laughs> Why we're here, everybody, thanks for joining, is we're talking about the ABC Foundation and, and, and what we do is we try and support um, NGOs in Africa who are giving tech opportunities to young people. So at the moment we're working with the Induna girls who are in Zimbabwe. We've just finished our first tech hub, which has solar paneling and a dozen computers. And we're teaching young people, you know, in, in, you know, Florence, in, in, in some of these rural communities, th there's, there's no even access to the internet. They don't know how to turn on a computer. They don't know how to send an email. And, and as we go into where we are right now, where tech is so fundamental to being a mm -hmm. part of you know, business and, and work, giving access to these young people is changing their lives. Um, right. I can't say I'm doing any of that work. That's Farai and the Induna girls who are there on the ground and they know the vulnerabilities of these young people and what they need to provide them with the best opportunities. Mm -hmm. So uh, thanks for joining us. Of course, I love chatting to you. And also that's not fair, Oti, you've created this. Um, yeah, you know what? I like my big secret to life is to work with people who are smarter than you, and uh, I try and do that. <laughs> well, yeah, to some it's not hard, darling. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard. Um, so, oh yeah. So now the other thing I want to say is that so people do want to donate, and I hope you do. Go to you can go on my link in my bio. There's a link there, or abcfoundation.me, and you can both donate money, and if. If you're a big baller, by the way, and Florence, I know you've got some big baller friends. Um, um, friends, I thought you were going to say yeah. me. Yeah, well, listen. Anyway, but, but, but the point is, you can actually get a whole tech cup. They cost 10 grand, and you will put your name on it, you or your mom's name, and, and this will provide like generations of tech training. But if you have 10 bucks, that makes a difference and we so, love but it. That's, but that is so cool to see and to know that the thing that you're putting money towards is actually creating the place in which these people are gonna be educated. Like, so, so cool. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I, I mean, there's so much to be like looking at right now in terms of charities and foundations and the world is literally desperate for help. Mm. And there's so much that it's like, you, you want to be invest in absolutely everything, but you'd be poor in a day if you didn't. Yeah, right. So one of my questions is like, I, A, I love having these opportunities to talk to people about what they're doing and what they're creating, which is why it's been so cool to talk to you, for the, like listen to you for the past hour. And also like, like to the people that want to help but that but maybe want to help in a different way and not just donate how can they help what can they do like what how how can they be a part of this foundation yeah i mean you know what the, the, the main things we need outside of money are things like your used laptops or your used right. smartphone i mean what's incredible about a smartphone which we just now take for granted this incredible technology for many young people um uh, who we're working with in Zimbabwe, that will be their first chance to get online. That will be their first opportunity to send an email. Right. And, and these things are computers, they're little computers. So, so that old iPhone 7, like as long as it works, right. and, you know, and has a charger, there's, a, there's an address on the website and you can send it there. And, and it really will make a difference to, to some young person. Of course. I mean, but even those like those hubs sound so exciting to get involved with. Like mm. I'd love to, I'd love to get involved with that. Well, if, if people know about solar paneling or, you know, like all those kind of things are useful uh, to us, solar panels, phones, um, laptops. Um, you know, I, I think, I think you, you really hit on, a, on an important point, which is like, it is tough for people who are trying to, who, who realize that it's like, there's so much to do in the world. And then mm. how do you decide what to Which do thing? otherwise yeah well, well how, how do you think about that um i think specifically now the world has gone down to such like an intense pace in terms of like slow and fast in the same way that we're now being given and we're being afforded this time 
to really kind of like figure out how and where we want to be invested in and and like there's just there is so much um mm -hmm. and and people are generous people do want to help and people yeah. do want to see the world become better yeah which is one of the things that i found just like so epic about you was at the moment this pandemic started you were in Africa, like helping people. And that's just a testament to how amazing you are, but also just how forward thinking you are. And I think that people, um, it's so nice to see, I suppose, A, how much good that the work you're doing and also how easy it is to help. Um, and that's why these chats are so fantastic is because um, everybody wants to help people learn and, and whether it's an old laptop or your, you know, tenor that you earned in your tips yesterday, if it's going towards the right thing, people get really excited by that. Yes. Um, so I take my hat off to you, buddy. Oh, thanks. You know, it's very nice of you to say, but I, I will say that I, I am in a very privileged position to do right. that. You know, like I, I, I work on shows, I, I, I you know, I, I get paid well for what I do, which means I have the opportunity to give more. And I, and I, yeah. I think, you know, sometimes I, I just figure the, the work that people do can sometimes be just spending an extra 10 minutes with your son or, you know, like the work that some person can do is just be like, oh, you know what? I know a kid and he needs some help with maths and I'm just going to help him out with math. Like I, 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 I sometimes think like the big gestures are great, but if you, if you're fortunate enough to be able to make those, but I also just kind of like for my humble position, just encourage people just yeah. to see what little they can do. And sometimes the best thing you can do is look after your own mental health. Like sometimes oh the, God, the best dude. thing you can do is not try and help someone else. Just like take, take a walk. Like, I mean, I'm actually, time, I was, yeah. it was really great listening to your conversation uh, about mental health. I definitely, I didn't ever think that, um, I think because life is so fast, usually, there are so many excuses to blame on your inner worries or your inner anxiety or your yeah. inner thoughts. And now we've been, as I said earlier, awarded this time. And I, the big thing for me that I noticed during this time was that, that anxiety didn't go right. and for a lot of my life i am so busy i'm i'm i i i'm privileged in that i get to i get to work but with that comes you know a busy schedule and so in my head i was always blaming it on oh i need to be there i need to be there i need to be at that place right. and then when it went silent and i was still i was like oh shit i've still got that anxiety right, with, that something's right, wrong right. and that was a big wake-up call for me that i needed to sort something out and i needed to deal with that and i needed mm. to have a relationship with that um so mental health is such i'm so happy that people are facing it especially during these times because it's so important you're right what, what, what do you do to to help with your mental tranquility well thankfully um so at the time, my boyfriend uh, kind of knew exactly what I was going through. And he was like, don't worry, here's what you're going to do. You're going to meditate every day. You're going to work mm. out every day. And you're going to make sure that you don't like not run away from this. Right. Um, for me, I stopped drinking coffee because that is the devil, like the right. fucking devil. <laughs> um, I even stopped drinking tea, which for a Brit is... Right, As, you it's know, absolutely. Like, yeah. are you are you nearly dying? What's happened? <laughs> I mean, I was. Hey, are OT, you even English anymore? Are you even English? OT, I was drinking herbal tea wow. at seven in the morning. How the mighty have fallen. Like, what is that going to do for me? But, but but really, caffeine, like what you put into your body, is such a big deal. Totally. Just, I just want to ju just jump on that really quickly because I remember, like, I do some meditation. I remember before people would say, oh yeah, meditation is really good. And I'm like, well, how do I meditate? I tried sitting down, all I could do is thoughts in my head. I'm not good at meditation. Well, what, are you got any top tips for people who want to try and get into meditation? So I used to think that I hated meditation because I couldn't do it. Turns out I was just really bad at it, which is also mm. why I don't like it. But um, there's this amazing app called, let me think for a second. I think it's just called the meditation app. Right. Um, and it's really good. And it just like, it just teaches you all these techniques of, like not being afraid of anxiety, not being afraid of stress, not being afraid of like anything that's in your head. And it just basically teaches you how to deal with it with learning how to breathe. That's literally yeah. what it is. And I couldn't believe how simple, I mean, if you just put it in those terms, it's really simple, but how hard it is. Um, and it's been super helpful for me. And also I love cooking like 
really, really meditates me. It keeps me very right. calm. Right. Really, really so calm. Someone says the Calm app. I, I, I tried out the Waking Up app, which is Sam Harris's meditation app. And another one I use is a Meditation Oasis, which is like um, guided meditations. Right. Um, so just for everyone who's just joining us, uh, we're, we are, we're, we're talking generally about good health, good living. One of the things we're supporting right now is the ABC Foundation, which yeah. provides tech opportunities to young people. And yeah. uh, you can find ways to do donate uh, on the link on my page. But, but part of what we're also talking about just now is just thinking about like outside of helping others, sometimes it's important to put the oxygen mask on yourself before you can help others. And, uh, you know, similar to you... Sorry, say. I said very true. Yeah, and, and similar to you, for me, lots of one, some of those things are exercise makes yeah. all the difference. You know, we get all these stress in our bodies, and it creates all these like release all these chemicals, mm -hmm. and we need to get them out. Meditation mm -hmm. um, and doing things for other people, like sometimes just small things, helping someone with the shopping or whatever. Um, helps. You know what's really cool is um obviously at the moment homelessness is is facing like a massive crisis because all the people that are usually on the roads all the people that are usually driving past all the all the uh um clothes bins that uh on the side of car right. parks aren't getting that. full anymore so um when i was in la uh homelessness was it it got really really sad for obviously it is sad but right. they just they couldn't get food they couldn't get money and so the one thing that we did for a long stretch of time was make sandwiches on the weekend and we would give wow. those meals um to the homeless uh, shelter um and that was just like it was really cool because wow. at, the, at the beginning of this pandemic everybody felt so helpless and they didn't right. really know how to help or give money or where to give money to and it was a really kind of nice way of just like knowing that you were doing something for a portion of people that really yeah. desperately needed a meal that day that's amazing um, what sandwiches though what, what, what kind of sandwiches so we'd make pb and j oh hi moth <laughs> um pb and j cheese and ham cheese that is so sweet of you i can just imagine your kitchen like making yeah. up sandwiches and, to give to people. and we put in some crisps a juice bar basically it was supposed to be like a packet of punch. of childhood wonder basically so right. there was supposed there's supposed to be a packet of crisps a juice box like an apple puree maybe a kit kat or two do you remember the just, name of the homeless shelter no. Uh, Midnight Mission. Midnight Mission. Shout yeah. out to Midnight Mission. Midnight Mission. Yeah. Um, so Kerry Brothers is a good friend of ours and he uh, introduced us to it and he said there's one way that you can be helping right now and it is making meals for the homeless for Midnight Mission. So we would make, we'd make meals and that was just like, I mean, uh, yeah, obviously we all felt helpless, but it, it was a good thing to put your energy towards. See how, it's so amazing. So, so we've got trans tech, check it out. We've got Midnight Mission, check it yeah. out. We've got the ABC Foundation. You can go into the link and, and donate I, your I really want to come and help you at the, at the ABC Foundation. It sounds so awesome. Well, listen, well, that's when we, when we get off this, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about- I think I've just promised how. something that I'm really excited to promise. Think, yeah, we've got it on video now. So I know, it's kind I of think it's very exciting. Now listen, we, we are running out of time fast. I know people want to talk, I mean, I guess there's the whole black widow thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know if anybody's going across this or that. But um, <laughs> I would, we, I, I remember how we became friends. Do you remember um, how? Hang on a second. On. We didn't just become friends. Okay. We so, fell in love. Fell in love. All right. We fell in love as yeah. friends, but we fell yes. in love. It was platonic one love. It was love. It was great love. So OT and I know how to gabber, and we also know how to wind each other up, and we <laughs> also know how to give a, how how to have a good drink. And this was all combined on a plane to San right. Diego for the Comic Con of right. Black Widow. Um, and OT and I were the only ones that were awake on this plane. And I came to his chair and we had a little picnic. Yeah, maybe a little um, picnic on the chair. And I think we started having like rants and arguments about things. <laughs> also <laughs> while giggling. Drinking and Drinking, shouting. Ranting and giggling. And then we landed. And when we got to San Diego, it, I'd ne we'd never been to San Diego before. And I think you have a video, don't you? Because OT does oh this really God. cute thing where yeah, he, when there's like, you don't do it anymore. 
No, I do. I video every day. Okay. I'm just like, I'm like a, yeah. OT through. does these amazing things where like every now and then, in order, in t it, like instead of making, writing a diary, he'll right. basically video, yeah. video yeah. like four seconds of the life in that moment. And so we were both so jet lagged and our eyes were like this. <laughs> And we were in the back of this car and he was videoing us driving through San Diego and there were all these people in outfits and space yeah, if, 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 if anyone hasn't been to Comic Con, it's like, it's, it's an event where people who are into comics and superheroes and they, they can't, they just, and yeah. it's one of the most amazing, it's like a carnival. People it's are dressed up. Incredible. And Sorry. also, OT and I both knew that come tomorrow, literally 24 hours, we wouldn't yeah. be able to walk on the streets anymore because our characters would have been introduced to like a sea of fucking people right. and we wouldn't have been able to have like done any normal shit. So we basically got off the plane and decided to walk around and kind of right. giggle at how nuts this was. Yeah. Um, and we were just like, I mean, yeah, that's when we fell in love. I also didn't yeah. know you very much, but after that, I did. Yeah, exactly. That was really when we got to know each other. <laughs> oh god, that was so so amazing. What um can so I'm always like I'm always scared when people ask me questions about because I'm like I don't know I'm not allowed to say no. anything. No. So we can't say anything. Well, no, I. I <laughs> Go on. Go I, on. I, there's just no point. Like, don't just let someone else cock up. Let someone else <laughs> accidentally say it. Just don't do it. You don't want right. to be known as the person that no. says no. like. No one wants that. But you know, we can say like, oh, it was fun. Listen, <laughs> a lot of fun. Uh, we can say it was fun. We can say that we did lots of stuff and stunts. And... Oh my gosh, the stuff! We yeah, can stuff for ages. Listen, yeah. um, we we are all. You need to go. Time. I know. I know. Florence, well, listen. Can we do this again? Can we? Can we yeah. find time to chat some more? Because um, Ot and I made a promise that we're going to really try and do this a little bit more often and talk about um, things that are happening in the world and causes that need some attention. And I'm saying it on here so that we have to keep with our promise. Now we have to because it. I think it's really important that even though there's so much going on that we put focus on some things and I'd love to talk to you about all of those to come. Yeah, and, I'd also love um, to know from people their ideas. Like email, yeah. you know, DM me, DM uh, Florence, and we'll, we'll, we'll see if, uh, yeah. if there's some things that come up that people want to have a chat, yeah. chat about. And, 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 chat and about. what do you want us to talk about? And what do you want us to look at and dissect? It would be really cool for all of us to band together right now, because it's a weird time. Florence, thank you so much. You're amazing. So generous of you to join us for the ABC Foundation. Thank you, everybody who came and joined. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Sending you lots and lots of love. Bye. Bye.